Well, when police are called to the scene of an armed suspect, they rely on their years of training to make the correct decisions. News 18's Cameron Harden visited Lafayette Police Department's active shooter training today to see how the officers train for those kind of situations. No officer wants to hear that come over the radio, but when it does, they need to be ready. And the Lafayette Police Department is doing everything it can to make sure that's the case. We do these uh, this type of training um, at least every year. Uh, we talk about it more than once a year, um, but we have the opportunity to train in different venues at the training center, like here at Ivy Tech, uh, to train in rural like real life environments. Sergeant John Yastrzebski has been the training coordinator for six years now. He says first everyone has to sit in a classroom session on active shooter situations, but there are some things you have to learn firsthand. We find the biggest skill of all, uh, we're good with tactics and all that stuff, but communication is the biggest thing that we need to repeatedly work on, and that's that's the biggest part of this is communicating. Officer Isidro Madrano knows how important that communication is. But once you go on, you really got to focus on, you know, controlling your emotions and uh, just listening to your, your co-workers and your teammates going through this, um, making sure you're aware of what's going on around you. Yastrzebski says this may take place at Ivy Tech, but it will translate to many different situations. It could be anything in a school, it could be at the mall, it could be at a college or university. Uh, so we've, we've taken that very seriously. No real ammunition was used in the training. Instead, simunition was used. Yastrzebski says these are more like paintballs and allow for a more real-life situation while keeping everyone safe. Reporting in Tippecanoe County, Cameron Harden, News 18.